In the American workforce, 55% of American workers are not engaged at work. What they found out that's worse is that an additional, in addition to 55%, additional 16% are what they call actively disengaged. You add the two together, 71% of the workforce in the United States is disengaged. Why do I want to take a 7 out of 10 chance of being disengaged? Why can't I just create the kind of future, the kind of job that I want to work in? I find when we look at the landscape of life and leadership, the notion of sacrifice, of exchanging, of trade-offs, of giving up something to get what we really want seems a little foreign to us. I want to talk about four exchanges that if you want to be a leader, if you're going to start a business, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you just want to be a great uh, person in your community and your family, these are four exchanges that I believe are worth making. The first one is this. It's exchanging stability for significance. How many people in here think stability is a bad thing? I don't think anybody got up today and they're like, man, I've had a little bit more instability in my life. That would be awesome. <laughs> I graduated from college. I got a job for a congressman. I thought it was a pretty good gig. And my friend came and said, let's start a study abroad program. Here's what it meant. It meant giving up a paying job for a period of time for a non-paying job. It meant giving up the legit office for stealing internet at coffee shops. And it meant giving up my apartment, honestly, to move back in with my parents for a period of time. But it was an exchange that I felt like I needed to make. It was giving up stability to do something that I believed was significant. Every single person in here at some point in your life is going to be confronted with a decision of giving up something that leads to more stability to do something that's more significant. And when you make those exchanges, you set yourself on a path to get down the road and look back and be satisfied with where you are. Stability isn't bad. Stability, when it stands in the way of doing something significant, is where we sell ourselves short so often. Exchanging expedience for excellence. Doing things quickly is not a problem. It's good. When your pursuit of expedience stands in the way of doing something with excellence is when we sell ourselves, our businesses, our organizations, and our ideas short. I would just ask you to think about this. What does excellence look like? Exchanging acceptance for accomplishment. And many times people think of this in this like, if you go back to high school, like acceptance is like somebody's trying to get you to do something bad. I'll tell you, most people that struggle with acceptance are not young people, it's adults. And their biggest problem is not somebody trying to get them to do something bad. It's trying to prevent them from doing something good. And what happens is that we actually shame people for going above and beyond. And what we want them to do is not to get too far above us. We want everybody to stay in here where it feels nice and good. And so I just want to encourage you that if you're going to think about doing something new, you will face resistance. But that the, the good that you want to accomplish is outside of there. Again, acceptance is not bad. It's when our pursuit of acceptance stands in the way of doing what we set out to accomplish. Exchanging the immediate for the ultimate. Here's an old quote from an old leadership guy who I think is incredible. Zig Ziglar said it this way. He said, the chief cause of failure and unhappiness is trading what we want most for what we want now. A failure and unhappiness is trading what we want most for what we want now. What he's saying is this. That the number one reason if you find an adult in life who's failed and they're not, or they're not happy, it's because at some point along the way, or multiple points along the way, they knew what they wanted most and they traded that in for what they wanted right in that moment. Really, it's up to you to decide what you want most and then to make the exchanges to get there.